got too much energy. Okay, got a new card for the wall piece. I made a I made a CP9 card, an updated one. So we got all the all the members of CP9. Rest in peace, Nero. And I left room for stuff to write just in case, and I just put six powers on the on the right side. So we're gonna peel this and put it on the wall, right right to the left of where the original CP9 thing is. Uh, I guess I could connect it to Robin, but I'll connect that string after the video. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I should know. We have episodes 269 and 270 of our One Piece watch today, and we are in the thick of it, baby. It is absolute chaos in any lobby. The Straw Hats are trying to find Luffy. Luffy's trying to find Robin, and Robin and Frankie are just in the belly of the beast right in front of all of CP9. But I guess we'll find out what their plan is. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell, and let's get started. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Big flashbacks. Wait, I feel like I should go through that in slow-mo. What's this? Oh, was that... Her mom, maybe? Her family? Dude, they were not turning around. They were so gung-ho about saving you. Came to this dangerous, dangerous place for her. Uh, that's not what I'm seeing down there, bro. And Bell Down, that's deep sea prison. It's like the tear from SpongeBob when they're on like the heat, the heat mat. Well, I mean, be honest, the Straw Hats have kind of pushed his hand to an extent. They're attacking in his lobby. I don't mean to defend Spandam in any sense. He's the worst, but... That she just go without anything happening, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So the deal's off. Wait, does that mean they're gonna enforce Buster Call? Or it, I guess activate Buster Call? I don't know what you say. I wouldn't trust Bandam to hold up any deal to begin with anyways. Whether they had come or not. Stop! Oh my god! The Navy uses tricks in any sense of the word, bro. They're all shameless. Except Kobe. I hope that kid's doing all right. Yeah, because she knows that you're trash, that you're nothing. Actually, Frankie knows more than her. Yeah, Frankie knows Spandam will do anything to win, dirty as it gets. I feel like it's teasing us more and more and more that we're going to find out more about Robin. But it's not giving it to us. Luffy has to have taken down an absurd number of the Navy at this point. Oh, there's Sea Prism Stone. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. What? Oh, they're splitting him up. He just keeps fighting him. <laughs> the call came in. Oh, the call we saw? Oh, they need like an update. But there wasn't five. It was five hundo. They're so unaware of, of how close Luffy is. Oh, no. We, he's actually going to be too late. God, Frankie's a unit, bro. Every time it puts those, those forearms into perspective. What? What more could he want? Oh, I mean, Spandam's not strong, bro. What does he want? Bro, Lucy and them are just straight evil. Wait, he's transforming. Wait, what about the two devil fruits that Spandam has? Oh my god. I'm shocked they haven't taken down Spandam, but I guess it'd be... I mean, they still have their own ideals and they wouldn't want to take down their boss. I think he's just kind of, like, reminding him how powerful they are. I bet. Okay. Well, I thought the confrontation was going to happen with, like, everybody there. And I was scared because, I mean, if all of CP9 is together, I mean, Luffy doesn't stand a chance, but I don't think Luffy would stand a chance with everybody with him. So, I don't, I don't really know, man. They have to kind of split up to an extent. Oh, Sanji's catching up. He's just running. Oh, wait, no, they're on Sodom and Gomorrah. They're just like tanks, man. So they're on like wheel tracks. That was their like land mode. Dude, they're enormous. This one Marine. Stand back, I got it. Oh. <laughs> okay, dude, he didn't even got it. He just deflected it. Oh my! This is like, yeah, like way too smoothly. So it's, it's, it's Sanji and all of them. I wonder why I only showed Sanji's little circle. How many of you are there? My God, yeah, it is endless. 
Oh, there's... Wait, their backs are turned, though. How close is he to the building? It seemed like he was closer. It's so quiet. Dude, these guys don't even stand a joke. My god, they were quick! Dude, I mean, you gotta hand it to these na these Navy men, though. I mean, they're relentless. Oh, there he goes. That's why catching up now. I hate how well this is going, though. Like, it was, it seemed like a real struggle at first, especially with how scared I was of any lobby. I mean, the real the real enemy is all the way at the, the base, the very end. Okay. Chopper, what are they saying? Oh, they saved Sodom and Gomorrah out of a stomach of a sea king. Damn, Frankie family kind of metal like that. <laughs> okay, I love Chopper's little jacket. His love. The guy with the mask. Get on. Wait, where's Soga King? Wait, wasn't he one like behind? I even pointed it out. Wait, I thought that was just a bit. He's not actually with him. You abandoned Soga King! Shameless. Well, Chopper's the only one out of all of them to not realize who it is. Well, the giants are down. Let's go, Freddy Mercury. Dang, they fast! How fast enough, though? Like, Mercury and Tilestone can hold off these guys for as long as they need to. Oh, Paulie's with them too. That makes sense. I thought they were gonna say it's Soga King. Hey, y'all messing with Godly Law, man. It's weird how it already feels like it's been a minute since we've even been on Water 7. It's because this battle started so quickly. And the journey on the sea train was a, a decently long one. Definitely wins. I love how much faith Molly has in, in Luffy. Everybody always does eventually. How much rope does he really have? Also, what about the giant guy with the three heads? He should just be launching over, right? You didn't anticipate him going over. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, dude. The journey is almost there. It's almost done. There it is. Just shoot yourself to the top, buddy. But at the same time, I'm still worried. Oh. Oh, it's too far. What? Luffy, you don't try jumping. You will just perish. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, Luffy's already gotten rolled by them once. He's like, yeah, that didn't really add up. It's like unheard of. That's Luffy. I just don't know what he can do, man. The six powers that he has no counter to on every single one, I think. I mean, maybe except for the bullet thing, because I don't know how that would work. Damn! Okay! Luffy with the one line! Or hell yeah! Sometimes it's like a bitty bitty coin flip on whether or not he says like something cheesy in a moment like that, but I'll give it to him! Episode 270, let's get it! Go back to get Soga King? Come on, man! Wait, what do you mean surrounding each island? How did you know that Soga King lived on each island? Wait! Don't tell me Soga King is. <laughs> oh my god, Chopper! When's it gonna click? I should make a bet with myself on who find, who realizes it first, Luffy or Chopper. At this point, it's anyone's game. He's literally gonna have to take the mask off. You fight, Soga King. You fight. God dang, dude. Good thing Galila is, they are some talented fighters. I mean, it's better than trying to defeat everybody in your way like Luffy's doing, but is it as effective? Probably not. Soga King. Come on, man. This isn't you. Soga King is aggressive. He's confident. In our 50th year. Yo, just try and recruit this giant. <gasps> Elbaf. They're from Elbaf? Oh! No shot. Dude, he knows them. Up until 100. Pirate, okay. Wait. Dude, there they are. Aww. It's kind of cool seeing them again, even if it's just backstory. 
Dude, they were part of their crew. And neither ever came back. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Usopp or Soga King knowing everything about it, if it'll change this giant's mind. Oh, they went out for him. Damn. Wait, they lied to them about Dorian Brock? Oh my gosh. They just lied to them to get in the work for them. Oh my gosh. Wait, they'll actually change sides because Usopp knows. Bro, Navy shameless. Added to the shameless list. Because I was there like an, a year. Well, I mean, how long ago was that? Probably like a year? Less than a year? A couple months? The timeline is kind of odd right now. Mm -hmm. Two Jigga Chads. Yeah, there's only one way he would know their names, too. He couldn't have just lied. He knows everything about them. Well, to an extent. He's emulating the laugh! Giants realizing they're okay. It all ties back in, man. Their journey. That's so cool, dude. I love that. That was so long ago. And them having gone has actually aided them. Dorian Brock, you don't even have to be here. It's just the fact that they experienced that. What? Oh, we flash back. I was like, are we gonna get to see like the condition Mary's in? It's weird, kind of weird seeing this like in HD now. Seeing the giants in HD. God dang, dude. Classic. It is also cool that Usopp's the one to talk to this giant because he had like the strongest sort of connection with them. And he, he took after them the most. He took off his mask for it. Usopp exposing liars. It all comes full circle. So you want to join our team? Yeah. Uh-huh. Are you good, Usopp, bro? Oh. <laughs> Buddy! Usopp goes through all that, chokes, and just dies. Oh, no. No! No! The only thing that could even... Oh, it's bleeding, too! No! Hurry, Chopper! Go, Gamora! They have to. Oh, back in the chopper. He's savable, right? <laughs> Treat him, chopper! Hurry! Oh, only Zoro's on Gamora, though. I think the others are gonna fight them off. Dude, Luffy, I... What are you gonna do? Nervous. This feels like a more of a losing battle than Enaru. You say you're not making it out of here alive. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, Bluno. Will stretching make a difference? Okay, he had to have thought about something, man. He had to have realized something. Oh, this is kind of like what he used against Enaru. How he did that? He like, spiraled it up. Okay, even hit Iron Body. Okay, maybe you got more of a chance than I expected. He's ready, baby. He's been thinking about this. Don't let him breathe. There's just so many powers he has to work against, though. Damn! Well, if he uses shame, I don't think he used Iron Body at the same time. Hell yeah, that's my boy. Maybe we got a chance. He's just fighting with confidence. <laughs> Not my problem. He's a pirate, bro. Yep. God, these to be continued screens have to be the most painful thing in, in 2022 media. Although this, this isn't 2022, but still, I mean, there's current episodes. I'm sure it's the same way. Okay, so maybe I, I should eat my words. Luffy is delivering. He was able to punch through Iron Body to a certain extent. He's fighting with so much confidence that even Shave, it's so fast, but he's still kind of caught it. Like I said, I don't think they're able to use like Iron Body and Shave at the same time. So they have to give up one for the other. But I mean, I, to say the least, this 
is there's a while to go. This is only one member of CP9. If anything, he has an army in front of him if he has not already fought one already. So yeah, Bluno's a big dude, but they all have the same power. So it's going to be around the same fight either way. Not actually though, because they, they kind of justified their power levels in the last episode or like two episodes ago. And Bluno was one of the lower ones. I mean, if Lucci is like four times this, then uh, yeah, I have no idea. But this is, this is looking good so far. Guys, that's been it for the episodes. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.